Hey y'all! Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's DIY, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm gonna actually be showing you all how I do a green screen or how I use green screen as this is a highly requested video. So I'm using my brother as you see here as my model for today. So I'm gonna show you how I achieve this effect. So starting off, you're gonna need some green screen fabric or you can use the seamless backdrop paper and I will link that down below. You can get it off eBay or Amazon. So first getting into the setup, the most important aspect of perfecting green screen is lighting. So lighting basically um, is going to ensure that you have you maximize the green screen capabilities. It provides definition and details to, to the subject and it creates distinction between the subject and background and it takes out those wrinkles and creases. So you see here I have a soft box, uh, which is what I use mainly for lighting. But of course, the more the better. So I use outdoor lighting and I also have my um, overhead lighting. And I'm using fluorescent light bulbs. Of course, I will um, link that down below. So you see here, I'm just setting up my backdrop and I'm using these clamps that I also got off eBay. And I'm just going to stretch the fabric onto the backdrop. And you want to make sure it's as stretched as and as taut as possible so that you have more of a smoother surface to work with and you get less creasing and less wrinkles. And what I do is I also take my backdrop paper and I use it as a counterweight. Sorry y'all if you see a little crack. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I use that as a counterweight to kind of just um, smooth out the bottom of the backdrop and I just pull it taut. And then I just kind of switch on my light and I place it a few feet away from my backdrop. And then setting wise, in terms of setting up your, um, your, your setup, you're gonna keep the subject matter about a foot and a half away from your backdrop to uh, lessen the amount of shadows and make it a little bit easier to crop out the green screen. So I have my lovely assistant, my little brother slash big brother, but yeah. Uh, also follow Eman the Heartbreak on Instagram. He is an amazing, amazing musician and artist and rapper. Just check him out. I will link his IG below. So here he is. I'm just showing you the full um, entirety of the setup. So basically you have the lighting, which is about a foot and a half away from him and the um, backdrop, which is also about a foot and a half away from him. So I'm just having him doing some poses um, and he's making sure to keep his arms within the green screen. But I'm also going to show you what happens when he kind of keeps his arms outside of the green screen. So now we're going to go into editing. So first and foremost, I just want to go ahead and crop out the excess that we don't need. So I'm going to go ahead into this bottom left hand corner and choose crop. And I'm just going to crop out. Um, the background which is like all of my room and all that so y'all don't need to see all that and to do it to the other two clips that I'll be using I'm gonna go ahead and go into edit and paste attributes while I'm while I have those two clips selected I'm gonna go ahead and paste the crop function so I basically copied that function that I had done on the previous clip onto these other two clips so I don't have to you know go back and manually do it so just a, a bit of a shortcut now I'm going to go into effects and then I'm going to go down to keying and the effects tab is on your right hand side of the bottom right hand corner. You're going to select the keyer effect and then just drag and drop that on to your clip. Now just a, um, a note, so I'm showing you all kind of like how to get rid of any like excess um, backdrop that wasn't taken away when you first put the effect on it. So this is just a few of the um, little functions. I like to, basically what I like to do, there's not really like a method I have. I just kind of play around with a lot of buttons until I achieve the desired effect. But I'm just showing you kind of what they do. But you mainly want to pay attention to the, um, I guess the knobs at the bottom. So such as like the fill holes, the edge, um, I can't read that on my screen, but like the edge, um, a rotor button, as well as the spill level. Um, so basically I kind of tweak them just to see exactly how much um, they're going to take away or what it's going to do to the overall picture. Um, the spill level, it changes the color of your um, subject. So I usually don't mess with that. Um, but if it is on the red side, I bring it a little bit closer to the left to make it more of its natural original color. 
Now, I'm going to be focusing on mat tools because this is really where I, I mainly do the most of the work to get rid of those excess spots. So I'm using the shrink and expand tool to kind of take away a, most of the white that you see. And then the um, soften button, it just soft, softens the edges, but I really don't mess with that because I like the edges to be very sharp. And then the erode button you see here, all it really does is just kind of erode it, um, the edges to the point where, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of the subject matter out. But you just want to kind of, like I said, play with these, these buttons and see exactly how you like it. And then also play it back to make sure it is um, exactly how you like it. Now going further into matte tools, you can also click it further down and just play with the blacks and the whites. So um, I believe this button right here does, and look, yeah, I'm really not a professional, but <laughs> this, um, the blacks and the whites, they really do help with the, um, the lights and the darks in your, in your image, as well as like the edges and whatnot. So I play around with them um, in terms of just like, like for example, he's wearing a white shirt, so I play with the white. Um, so it's gonna affect mainly the white edges of the subject, and then the black mainly will affect his hair. So as you can see, I'm playing it back to make sure that it looks good. But really, you're going to notice a, big, a bigger difference when you put a background on your subject. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and once I like those effects that I put in the key, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did before with the cropping method. I'm going to paste those attributes. Um, I'll select my two clips and I paste those attributes onto those two, cl those two clips going into the edit button. And now I'm just grabbing a simple background. This is actually a GIF that I um, put together. And so I'm just using that. You can use another video and overlay that on the bottom um, if that makes it easier. And I can also do a video on how to do GIFs in um, Final Cut Pro. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and resize that so that it is perfect for the background. So um, it's not all that you know extra black that you see there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that bigger. And I'm gonna do that to the other clips. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but y'all, I'm working in Final Cut Pro, as you can see. Um, so this is definitely, um, you know, the program that I like to use. As I'm not quite familiar with, um, like Movie Maker and iMovie, I, I am familiar with um, what's it called, Premiere Pro. But I like Final Cut because it's a little bit more straightforward, and Premiere Pro gives me a headache sometimes. So. Now here you just see, I'm kind of tweaking it because I do see, I notice that, you know, the shrink, um, you know, the edges and the erode the edges button kind of made it, or the shrink and expand and the, the um, erode button made it a little too see-through because sometimes it does cut into the subject. So I'm just going to go ahead and tweak those buttons so that it looks, you know, perfect and seamless and he's not like ghosting in some places. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you all um, real quickly what not to do when you have a subject matter and how important positioning is. So you see the other two clips, they are in the center um, and his arms are well within the green. But in this clip, his arms are all over the place. Um, so you can see because of that, it's going to get cut off. So you want to make sure your subject is centered or well within the green um, the green screen area so he does not or they do not get cut off. So yeah, that is it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too, too quick. Um, but I'm happy to do an even slower version or more of these videos if you all would like. And um, I cannot wait to show you some more. Definitely leave some comments down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.